Hello, everybody, to another episode of Let's Play A Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Last time, we freed the Oracle of Ages! Literally! <laughs> At this point in the game, it unlocked the last song! The Tune of Ages. Moves from- which can make us move freely through time! In this episode, we're going to head into the next area of the game. So, we're at the Gale Seed. Just trying to get some parts. Real quick. Before I uh, start heading out. Anyways, there we are. Let's get some Gale Seeds out. Warp! Ah! Actually, be right back. I'm gonna get all the, uh, the gotcha seeds we planted. Be right back. Alright, I did some ring grinding off screen. Sorry about the pause there. It just got reminded of something that I was supposed to do before I started recording, but hey. I don't know. Anyways, we, like, we got a ton of rings now. 20 rupees? Hmm, I see you in the gold luck ring. We want to double falls. We'll add it to the list. And then we have the fist ring. Punch when not equipped. You punch. It's It does as much damage as a regular sword attack, which is pretty impressive. I'll call this the expert's ring. Punch when not equipped. Ooh. Ooh. The Expert Ring is the upgraded Punch Ring. Basically making it have the same damage as a Noble Sword. I'll call this the Whispering. No effect from Jinxes. I don't know what- Oh, pro it means that you can't be cursed. And this one is the Charge Ring. Spin attack charger quickly. Ooh, I just got a ton of good rings. Holy freaking crap. Anyways, let's check our list. Keep Light Ring. Uh, let's give ourselves... We just got a good amount. Just saying that. Get you. And keep you. Hmm. No transformation. the transformation rings. Bomb proof? No. Whispering. No effects from Jinx is actually pretty good. Means we can now uh, dodge bubbles. But yeah, that's pretty darn good. Anyways, now in the present, we now need to go. Well, from here, head south, and. Uh, Head to the coast. And, uh, head this way. Down. Left. We're getting left. Down. Left. And you'll find a hut. This hut contains... Just a lady. My family's been fishing this island since my grandpa's day. The island is drifting to the west so long ago it was further east. Huh. So what happens if we go to the past? Also over here is a blocked area. Remember, the island is further to the east, drifted away. So if we go back to the past... Oh, I already have equipped. Well, we're in the water, yes, but the island is also ne ne close to the east, meaning that we now have entrance to the next area. I began my life as a fisherman on this island, but now the island drifts towards the horizon. In my grandson's day, this island will be farther west! <laughs> my granddaughter. Anyways. <sighs> the bug on the wall. Oops. Alright. So, from here, keep heading east. We can dive down if we really wanted to. I'll dive down to showcase it. Not much we can do here, but I just want to show it off. Over here, head back to the past. Or the future. And we're in the water again. <laughs> hmm. Prepare for this to be a big gimmick. Uh, hmm. What? I definitely want to have a great, great one screen. Okay, I see. Over here is underwater passage. Surface? Oh no, wait, don't surface. Get out your switch hook and swap. Now surface. Now switch. Yeah, we're about to do this a lot, now that we have the new, uh, the new, you know, time travel gimmick. Okay. Head around that. Head west. Head down. And another platform, you know the gist. Oh, but that's a, that's a, uh, an access play area? Do it here. There. Head down. Doosh. Doosh. Alright. Ow, ow, ow. Alright, head over here, and you'll enter the Zora's Domain! Or Zora's Village. Zora's Domain is what I prefer to call it because, well, it's what it is in Legend of Zelda. 
But anyways, welcome, young mermaid. This is Zora's village. But well, technically, there are different areas. Anyways, resurface. And let's go up, and you can find a gale seed spot. Meaning enough fast travel to the location whenever we wish. So, we also have a magic po- Also, off-screen, I got a magic potion from a gotcha- from a gotcha seed. Hooray. So, we can use- because we'll actually need that. Anyway, I'm gonna equip the- Actually, the light ring is probably more important currently, but let's check out some of these houses. There is a large library east of King Zora's palace. Hmm, a large library. So, from this area, head up two screens. Because over here is the King Zora's palace. East is Jabu- oh, west is Jabu Jabu's belly. King Zora's palace is beyond here. Beyond here. Oops, that was supposed to be a sign that we could read. But anyways, head in here. And welcome to, Zor to the Zora Domain Palace! And as you can see up here, is a chest containing 200 rupees! That's pure bliss! Hehehe, <laughs> yeah, we stole it. Alright, so let's check on the King Zora. And he's gone. Because he's dead. <laughs> sure. Hmm. Looks like there's no one to rule Zora Village. This was the palace of our ruler, King Zora, but long ago the king fell ill. Ever since, we've continued on with no king. That which the king looked after. The key to the eyeglass isle library has been lost. So. Well, so. King Zora died of illness. Mention how I magic the magic potion? Well. Seems like it seems to be the only way to heal the king. So let's head back to the past. And now we have a warp space in the past, too! Okay, so we won't need it for And let's head under. I should probably explore the rest of the village. There is a large library east of King Zora's palace. Anyways... We don't get many mermaids visiting us. This is Zora Village. This is Zora Village. I just want to check what the, what the rest of the village looks like. I, I like how they're made of nautil nautilus shells. Praise be Lord Helix. Anyways, uh... I'm no absolute shit. Check them, by the way. Anyways... Hmm, only two beds in the entire village. Hmm. <laughs> Here's that, uh... They have a bit of a population problem. Uh... Three Zoras. Don't thus think us noble sea Zoras the same as those savage vulgar river Zoras. Yes, that is the differenti differenti differentiation of the two Zoras. There are this, the sea Zoras, which are more like, uh, uh, well, like how you see before, they're more like fish. They're more like, uh, in their own uh, race, like the ones you see in, uh, in Ocarina of Time. While in, uh, while River Zoras are more like mermen, which attack, which, uh, also attack people, and are monsters. Well, monsters in quotes, because they actually are a different, spe like a completely different species, which are, uh, or subspecies that is entirely has their own culture and queen and everything that are very much sentient, as we've seen in Link in, Link's, in uh, uh, Link to the Past, like Link's Awakening, um, Link to the Past. No, it was right the first time. Anyways, after confusing that guy, the, uh, the heck out of, let's go keep swimming. King Zora's palace is beyond here. Take care not to be rude. What are these, honestly? Like, actually, are they amoeba? Like, like dark, like uh, evil amoebas. But anyways, let's head into the king's palace. That stairway leads to the throne room. The king is ill. If you must see him, make it brief. Our ruler King Zora suddenly fell ill. We've done all that we can, but his condition does not change. Hmm, looks like we have to be the ones to save this king. Oops, sorry, sorry. King Zora has no successor. If his illness continues, and he passes on, we Zors will lose our last king. I'm surprised they never chose a king, or elected one. You know. King Zora's face looks pained, doesn't it? Yeah, I can kinda see him the way he's breathing. We believe we need a special medicine called a magic potion to cure King Zora's illness. Where could we find a magician to create such a potion? Well, quite a lot of quicky dink. The, the pain! This, this is the end for me! To think I... The prosperous royal family could feed the generation! The pain! Give him the magic potion? Yes! Is this the magic potion? Mm, it looks very suspect! But if I am to die, 
It can't hurt to drink it! Glug glug. Ugh. Ugh, it's awful! But it flows through me! The royal line is saved! Who are you? Well, thank you, Link. The filthy water that flowed in from the east lately has been made me ill. I will never forget you. What do you wish for, Link? Huh? A big fish? Do you mean Jabu Jabu? But Jabu Jabu is the guardian of our sores. Calling him a fish is an insult. What's your language? Hmm. Filthy. Filthy water. Alright. Anyways. Jabu Jabu. Again, the same Jabu Jabu from Ocarina of Time. Again, like I said, this game does borrow a lot of things from Ocarina of Time. Thank you so much for what you did! You gave King Zora his life! Oops, sorry. Well, well, Link. Hmm, I wonder if you'll remember us in the future. That stairway leads to the throne room. Please watch your manners when speaking to the king. I saved your king, anyways. Hmm, so Jabu Jabu. Hmm... Anyways, so, uh, I'm swimming into a wall. Anyways, this stairway leads to the throne room. Oh, wrong way. Blech. I meant to go to Jabu Jabu, but I wasn't looking at the screen, so I was just swimming in, di in random directions. Anyways, ow. Can we enter Lord Jabu Jabu, or do we need a key? Oops, the seas are filthy. The seas are filthy! I can't swim in peace! Anyways, over here is Jabu Jabu, who looks very small. <laughs> wop wop. Anyways, head back to the present, because now that King Zora is saved, he should be, well, still alive. Because we are, because we, I think King, well, Zoras live a very long time. I think between all the races, uh, high, like honestly, lifespans in the in the high in the, in the uh, Legend of Zelda timeline are long. Like, uh, in regular Hylian, it's like 200 years or something like that. Also, holy freaking crap! That is an insane charge rate. Uh, I was just curious, but anyways. But yeah, if I remember right, a normal Hylian lives to like 200. Oops, that was the wrong way. I mean, give me a second, I can see. Okay, Hylians live up to about a regular lifespan of a human, or or longer, depending on what uh, continuity you're in, or if you're like uh, if you count uh, Zelda as a normal Hylian lifespan, which she looks, looks young after <laughs> like a thousand, year, a hundred years or something like that. Uh, though that was a special case because she was holding up Ganon, but even then she probably should have been aged a lot more than, than a day. So. Uh, I know that, but apparently Zoras live for centuries, so yeah. Honestly, probably a lot of the Zoras that are here remember who we are. <laughs> it's like, hey, why are you still alive? Don't have any Zoras like this. King Zora's palace beyond here. So let's visit King Zora in the future. Or the present, actually, I'll say. That stairway leads to the throne room. Watch your manners before the king. And like I said, he's alive! Welcome, Traveler. This is the palace of the great King Zora. No longer dead. A ruler King Zora sits in the rear. Take not to be too discourteous. Great healer! What do you ask? You wish to enter Lord Jabu Jabu. My permission is needed to enter Jabu Jabu, but I cannot permit just anyone to see our body. Anyhow, the filthy seawater has left Jabu Jabu near death. If you say you must, then find a way to get rid of this filthy seawater and save Jabu Jabu. Will you accept this quest? Yes. Very well! Then take this! We got the library key. Hmm. This is the key of to my glass isle library, east of here. It is an ancient library, so I do not know if this key still works, but perhaps you can research why the seawater is so filthy. I trust you to save Jabu Jabu. Hmm. The king is a very open Zora. Feel free to speak to him about anything. Do you know what I'll get married now? <laughs> trying to make this one this there. Anyways, head east. We're gonna go try and find the library. Because that is where we need to go! Uh, surface? Oh, uh, oops. That's, uh, can't surface here. I guess. Ow. And, time to go back in time again. 
and switch hook. Because then we can head across this area to... Well, here. A Octorok and a Fairy Fountain. Please listen, young one. You may not believe this, but I am the Queen Fairy, guardian of the sea. This curse of an evil one named Varen has made me appear so. The magic of fairy power can turn me back to normal. Varen has poisoned the sea. Soon all living things in it will perish. Please, go find some fairy powder. Hmm, so fairy powder. Well, if, th if thou must. Oops. <laughs> Anyways. I will save the queen. Anyways, over here is the library. That now that the key for, we can open. Ah, uh, no, uh... Anyways, the elders. Those who have seen a strange beast on the isle to the west, say the beast is always there, never attacks, and just stares as if asking to help for help. Some even claim it speaks. It's nonsense! The fairy queen used to live on the isle, isle west of here, but she vanished recently. Surely the fairy queen could do something for these seas. This is the eyeglass isle library. Fairy powder is said to be stored in back, but I've yet to see it. Yet to see it. Hmm. Fairy powder is locked away in the back, but with another. Bu oh, without the book of seals, no one can reach the powder. By the way, what is fairy power powder? Anyways, <laughs> hmm. So we need a book of seals to, to get fairy powder. Well, let's go about getting that. If uh, in the book of seals, which uh, doesn't uh, have the animal seals. But instead, uh, well, sealed, you know, animal. Well, the, the seal, like, sealing. Uh, is in the future, where the Zora are here. I am studying the cause of the filthy seawater. It seems to have suddenly become polluted hundreds of years ago. But I have learned nothing more! There used to be something in back for sealing things away, but now there's just one crinkled old book. <laughs> I can already read the Fairy Queen who keeps the sea clean! That's my favorite story! <laughs> uh, I wonder who's gonna save the ocean, I, I wonder. Welcome, this is Eyeglass Eye Library. Long ago, fairy powder was kept in this very library. However, at some point in the few past, someone took it away. Now none remains! Hmm, I wonder who took it. Have you heard of fairy powder? Fairy tales say it turns a card's queen back to her original shape! They say that a fairy powder was kept in back long ago. I don't know if it's true or not, but it sure is romantic. Hmm, I wonder who saved that fairy queen. Hmm, 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 I wonder, hmm. This is the Book of Seals! It was once part of a set, but now only this one remains. How they were used is an exter eternal puzzle. I wonder if the other one is, fa is found in Holodrum. You say you can solve the riddle of this book? Ho ho! This should be interesting! I give you the Book of Seals! You got the Book of Seals! Did you solve the riddle? No. Alright, time to head to the past. With the Book of Seals in our in our grasp, let's head back to the, head back to the past, and well, with the book, head back. Because in here, is a puzzle. It's, it's a podium for holding a book. Place the Book of Seals here. Yes. Four left, two up, two, I mean, four right, two up, two right. One, two, three, four. Okay, that was way too much. One, three, four. Up, up. Two up, one left, two up, one right, one up. Two left, one up, three right. Well, two left. What? No. Oh. One down, three right, oh, three left, one up, three left. <laughs> Sorry, cat, I got, my cat got a bug. <laughs> one down, one right, two down, two left, three down. Alright, so like this. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. Oh, sorry. Okay. Two left there. Alright, frickin'. Two right. Oh, frickin'. Oh, frickin'. 
<laughs> there. One left, that one down, two left, right, one, one right, one down, two right, right, one up, one left, right, one up, two right. Okay. So like this. You have done well to make it so far! I acknowledge your courage, and offer you this! You've got the fairy powder! It removes curses! Continue on without fear! Do not forget your courage! And he warps us luckily out! Alright. So... Uh, let's go get that fairy powder to them, shall we? Anyways, back over here. Just can't do it in the past, because that's, uh, cheating. Or not, I don't think. I don't- I don't know. Anyways. Alright. Head up here, and let's get the fairy powder. You brought me the fairy powder? Now I can return to normal! Sprinkle the powder on me! And she returns to being a fairy queen! Thank you, young one! Now I can cleanse the seas of evil! Do you like my voice for an octorap? <laughs> Anyways, the sea of cleanse of evil, removing all of those bl those splotches. So now we know what they were. They're poisoned water, all around the entire world. The, the black splotches of water, well, not black, the purple splotches of water, or dark water, the well, poisoned water, the like amoebas, are gone. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> And, well, <laughs> and we'll see around us as well. We no longer need to dive under the poisoned water. It's all gone. We have cleared all of it. Also, if you know, oh, hey, we're, our sea chapel's full. So let's warp back to, to uh, Zora Domain, or Zora Village, and dive and let's, oh wait, frick, 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 frick. we need to head to, uh, <laughs> I mean, talk to, Z to King Zora. Well, this brings a good a good question. Does does he know? Like, does he know that we that we're the ones who did this? Like, he's gonna be like, he's just because it happened in the past. His so old memory of meeting us, giving us this quest, has been gone. <laughs> Unless uh, time travel rules. Thanks to you, our seawater is clean again, and Jumbo Jumbo's health has returned. All is well. I never go back on my word. So I dub you Zora, hero, and permit you and to enter Jabu Jabu. You may go see Jabu Jabu. Oops. Our ruler, King Zora. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess he remembers. I, I guess. I guess he's a. Uh, he's eternal. <laughs> he is. He is time eternal. <laughs> Uh, time is relative to him. Anyways, let's enter Lord Jabu Jabu. Let's take care around Lord Jabu Jabu. He can even swallow us. Hmm, swallow us? But he was the size of us before. He can't be that big, right? Oh! <laughs> Hello there. Yeah, Jabu Jabu grew in the past, uh, 400 years. Jabu Jabu is now the size of a full-length dungeon. Because, <laughs> yeah, our next dungeon is Lord Jabu Jabu's belly again. But well, before we end this episode, we have some things to go over. Because, yeah, we actually have some... Because, uh, apparently the guide is going to list off some more rings. Oh, wait, we, were, but we have both those rings. But, okay. There's some optional stuff we can do. Actually, no, wait, there's some stuff we can get. They're, they're not listing off rings, they're, they're telling us to get rings. So. From the Gale Tree, swim up three, three screens. I see. Swim up, and you'll see this tree. Psst, psst. And over here is this this thing we found. This is the Green Holy Ring, which basically uh, lowers damage from uh, electric attacks. Or no damage from electricity. Oh, that's really good, actually. Now, in the past... Okay, I guess I'm going to get some things before we end the episode. So be right back, because my cat is uh, scratching the floor. So be right back. Okay, I'm back. I always come back. Anyways, uh, if you haven't gu guessed by me saying that, I've been getting into Final Fantasy recently. <sighs> uh, 
Because it was something that always terrified me as a kid, and now I'm actually starting to get this in this well, series again. Alright. Anyways, we head into this area, swim right, and now, and now over here, swim down. Alright. So. Hmm. Next screen is a thing of rocks. Emerge. Alright, no, it's not. Okay, wrong area. Okay, this area. Oh, I see. On this area, we need to head back to the present. I see. Surface, and we can get ourselves a, a ring. This ring being the whimsical ring, which we already have. Hey, it's an extra 30 rupees. Anyways, uh, okay. Back inside of Zora Village. Let's head back using a, uh, a fellow warp seed, because why not? Head east and dive underwater in this location, getting you an area here with a Gasha Seed! Alright. So, let's head back to the past. Alright. Over here and down is a big area full of trees. Slash these trees and get yourself a Gasha Seed location. This is a tier 2 to 4, and now we've uncovered all the, t the tier 2 rings! So, we can get a couple, uh, well, because of that, we now have access to all these rings, which I'll list further that we, that we don't have yet. There's the Maple's Ring, which I've already, which I've already mentioned that I thought we got, which basically meet, which halves the amount of enemies you need to kill before Maple will appear from 30 to 15. Uh, the Rock's Ring will be basically it make us able to stand on cracked floor tiles, and without falling through. Oh, by the way, fun fact: when I played this game for the first time, I never used any uh, rings. Yeah, I uh, got most of the rings of the game and never used a single one. I thought they vanished, but yeah. Anyways, Whispering, basically, we already have it on us. The Zora's Ring turns us into a Zora. Well, actually, no, it won't turn us to a Zora. It'll basically let us swim without bre uh, to dive underwater without breathing, thus allowing us to stay underwater indefinitely. Basically, in dungeons. The Fist Ring, and then the other one's the Fist Ring, which uh, we already have. And then there's the Swimmer's Ring. Well, the Swimmer's Ring is, uh, is only available in a Link game, but I will deal with that later. But yeah. Next time on Let's Play, Legend of Zelda, a link, uh, well, Legend of Zelda linked to, uh, Oracle of Ages, we're going to head into the next dungeon of the game, the seventh dungeon, a pretty big one, with four floors, Jabu Jabu's Melee. See you guys then, have a great day, bye bye